This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Blueface's mom was on Instagram Live talking about one of Blueface's alleged ex-girlfriends. She went on and on about this woman being rich and being a doctor, saying that this girl hasn't been with any other man except for her son, Blueface. Listen to what she had to say. Right? Because he didn't disturb, let grandma preach for a minute. He didn't disturb her education. He didn't try to get in the way of that. He didn't try to get her pregnant. He didn't try to lower her value or her standards. Now this nigga get to walk off under the sun with A, that don't want no kids, that just want to enjoy him, that just want to enjoy life and travel, got the credit, got the degrees, got can go anywhere she want in the world and be a doctor now. And take her little nigga with her. Now is y'all starting to listen to what the mama been trying to tell y'all? I said A in the cut. Y'all over here trying to have babies. By the time A, I'm on the phone. Go on over there now, boy. Uh Uh-uh, not right now. I'm preaching. Give me five minutes. Okay? Give me five minutes. I'm in a meeting. When I get out this meeting, you can grab my Gia. But right now, we gonna preach. We gonna preach to the bottomless pit. Okay? I just need a try. Your charger's right there. No, like a box. Your box is in the back of that wall over there. Oh. Now, do anybody got any questions? Do anybody got any questions? And don't start asking me no dumb questions because I'm trying to help y'all, okay? These men is getting smarter. They're getting wiser. They know it's an A out there who don't give a damn about B, C, and D. She on a whole nother level. She looking at y'all like, a baby? Who the fuck wants that? She like, but I help this nigga pay for them kids. Come on, y'all. We got to wake up that these Chinese people is getting ahead of us on everything in life. We letting them, I don't know if she's Chinese or Filipino. I know she's a nice young lady. I do know she's a very respectful young lady. We ain't never had no disagreements, no arguments, or none of that. But that don't mean I won't check her ass, too, if I got to, okay? But what we is going to talk about in this meeting on today is stop trying to hurry up. I keep trying to tell y'all, don't do like I did. You trying to make fun of me like you got three baby daddies. Yeah, I skated through. I'm a good looking older woman. I skated through. I got a husband with a bag. I ain't got to work. I skated through, but your chances is going to be slim to none. Half of y'all ain't got no tooth on the side. You ain't got no tooth in the back. Something missing. You ain't you ain't got it together. You're fat. You're sloppy. I don't know what the case may be, but you ain't going to slide through. Ain't no guarantee. I got a lot of friends. Ain't no guarantee going to be no slide through for you. I got lucky, and I had to go all the way back home, okay, and and pretend like I was uh, sanctified, okay, whatever. I had to go back home and trick this nigga, (laughs) okay? I had to go back home and do some jiggity shit to make him think I wasn't with the bullshit, okay? Now it's 10 years later, he's stuck with me. He got to deal with it till death do us part. (laughs) Sickness and it helps. But I'm going to help some of y'all. Stop throwing your life away for a man, okay? A don't give a fuck about none of this shit, okay? She done told him, have your life. Party down. Party up if you like. (laughs) I'll be at the gym taking care of my beautiful body and at school taking care of my special brain. Have your life. When you're ready to settle down, I'll be right here to help you take care of those kids because I don't want any fucking kids. Okay? Now, I done told y'all the whole game, okay? She bought more money than him. Her family got money. These women is going to take our mans if we don't start the wising up. She ain't been with nobody else, so she definitely qualified, I mean, to remove everybody from their seat. She educated, she got, okay? Now, if y'all ain't got no common sense questions, I'm not answering you no more because I done gave y'all the fucking game. I said, get to the bag, focus on the bag, don't focus on no man until you about 30 years old. Now, how the fuck y'all dumbass is going to compete with this lady? One got missing teeth, one got this, one got that. How are we going to compete with her? I want to know because I know this about to burn y'all soul when this lady walk off with the whole man and act like none of this shit ever happened in that big, beautiful house, getting visits with, with, with these kids and sending them back home and, 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 and all the money going to be in her name and her mama and daddy name. Didn't y'all watch Kobe? I'm trying to help y'all. I said, don't be like the mama. I'm a special case. I'm an actress. I had to act to get Mr. Soul Sappho to act right. I had to put on my, my A-list acting skills, okay? I went down that mug covered up. I had my head covered up and everything. I went down there, chest covered up. I didn't let him know. Y'all ain't gonna have them same type of skills, okay? 
Fortunately, my dad worked for the military, so I kept my teeth together. I got all my teeth in my mouth. I, I didn't have to wear no braces. My shit straight. It's clean. I know how to keep my ass clean. I know how to keep my house clean. I've been learning. I've been picking up. Y'all ain't picking up what I'm putting down. Y'all over there, I'm going to give them a baby. A baby going to make them act right. A baby going to make me act right. No, a baby's going to make you look stupid. Okay? Angela don't want, I mean, A don't want no kids. Fuck she going to do with a baby? She trying to live her life. She's been in school for 99 years. She about to take y'all man, run off under the sun, and act like none of this shit never happened. Now, who wants to ask a valuable question? Because I'm telling y'all how to do this shit, and y'all ain't listening, okay? I'm telling you, just like A's mama told her, that dick gonna be there when you get done, and you gonna <laughs> keep your ass in school and away from him. I bet you A's mama injected that birth control medication herself. We got to get better at making our kids take that damn birth control medication. I don't care if you tell them it's part of their fucking physical. Okay? You go in there and you inject that shit in your child. I don't care what she thinks. She'll thank you later. Okay? Because she'll turn out to be an A. You want to be an A or you want to be a B or you want to be a motherfucking F. Now, I'm not answering no more of y'all dumbass questions because we're going to watch how this play out. And guess what? Y'all ain't about to be like, his mama knew all along that he was going to do that come October. I don't want to hear shit. Because I told y'all, focus on y'all business. I told Jay, I said, Jay, focus on blue, I mean, not blue face, baby face. I told Jay, I said, let's get this 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 six out going and get our own bag. Everybody, <laughs> I'm going to do it regardless, okay? Because I'm going to teach y'all how to do this. I fucked it up. A couple of y'all done watched your mama fuck it up. That don't mean you got to be a fuck up because ain't finna, she finna flatline you bitches. Okay? She finna put on that doctor suit Pull that hair back and look like, and put them glasses on and look like. And then at night, she gonna pop out with blue looking like a goddamn monster. And what y'all gonna do? Be at home rocking and patting them babies watching? That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all got sick. Yes, I'm sick of y'all not paying attention when I'm trying to teach you in class. I ain't giving you her app. They already posting it everywhere on the blog. They didn't out it or else I wouldn't have said nothing. But it's too late now. She's probably done got her degree, so she don't give a fuck. Y'all ain't about to disturb her class. Yes, girl, that is, ain't that sick? That y'all sat there about to be patting babies while they patting checks? <coughs> Come on now. Come on now. What's the questions? I ain't saying the blogs, because them motherfuckers be talking about me like a dog. You go find it yourself. But they sent it to me. Jaden didn't want John. Jaden wanted. J J I've been trying to tell y'all this whole time. She just been his friend and his baby mama. She don't want that man neither. Y'all over there fighting with that girl about something she don't eat. Probably ain't wanted in a few years. Do you think, by any reason, that she would have moved out that house if she wanted him? I pat my babies while making checks. Ugh, that that has got to be dysfunctional. Good luck with that though. I tried that too. It's very frustrating. You should be able to just sit down and waddle in it, like I'm doing with these grandkids. Papa. I, I, now I've been an Uber driver, girl. I've been a DoorDash driver, an Uber driver. I've been to college, boo. I graduated. I had to pay my way. I had to do a lot of things to get where I'm at, honey, but I ain't got to do nothing no more. So if I decide to be an Uber driver tomorrow, guess what? It'll be extra. I done did a lot of things, honey, but I ain't selling no cat. Shit, I done door dashed, I done Uber drove. Shit, when you lock up with God, you can't be out there getting that quick, cheap money. You got to be out there Uber driving. You got to be out there going to school and getting the school checks. Shit, who you playing with? You can't say nothing to out me. I'm going to tell you my shit, Okay. I'm going to tell you my shit for you. Jaden, Blue, Angela. Now, Angela on repeat in my and rock on repeat in my head. I'm trying to use these people as an example because this is all y'all want to talk about. So since y'all want to focus 
on my son's love life. I'm going to make sure that you weirdos learn how to pay attention to what these ninjas is doing to us or not doing to us, what we're doing to ourselves. Because you got this woman who don't mind doing this, blow job, just sit job, whatever. You got this woman who don't mind doing this. You got this woman who don't mind doing this. And you got this woman who ain't going to do this. So whatever, you cannot blame no man at the end of the day. If Mr. Sappho run off with a 24-year-old woman and has some kids and I got to go back to Uber and uh, door dashing and whatever it is I got to do to feed myself, whatever I got to do, I put myself in that situation, okay? So if Mr. Sappho decides to do A and I decide to do B, I got to be responsible for my reaction. But I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> I bet you I don't go back out there. Then if your kid's grown, why the fuck you patting them? This is what I'm talking about. Why I'm about to stop talking to y'all. Because y'all not listening. I done blocked about literally in the last two days a thousand people because I'm tired of talking to people who act like they have missing fucking teeth. Like I'm about to stop talking to y'all. I done reasoned with y'all. I done act like a slow person with y'all. Excuse me, Grandma Dan. When you don't can you give me something? Make me something to eat. Carter, we just left the restaurant and you and you left all your food on the table. And now you hungry? Let's just want to see. Okay, sure. Go down there and see if you see what you want and then tell me what you want. Thank you. Now we do some push-ups. Jaden don't care about A. She don't care about none of that shit. All she cares about is raising her kids <laughs> rent-free. That's so why I said, what's your motivation? What are you doing? Because ain't nobody on our team running around here trying to take care of no man. We just ain't got that to do. You're not going to catch me doing it. You're not going to catch Callie doing it. You're not going to catch Ladron doing it. You're not going to catch India doing it. You're not going to catch um, Jaden doing it. We, we don't run around here trying to pay our way. We're, we are ladies, okay? We're not men. We're not trying to compete with men. We're not doing that. It's just not ever going to happen. Respect your value. Know your value. I don't care if your mom smoked 10 crack pipes growing up. Know you, that you are still a lady. No, I ain't got to drive Uber no more. No, ma'am. But if I had to, trust and believe, I'll be right out there pulling up, picking your ass up. I'll be doing that versus selling some cat. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Sappho don't allow me to work. I tried to sneak in Uber and make some money, but he, he won't let me do it. I got to stay in here and cook and clean and take care of my grandkids because he said when I get the grandkids, I'll be too tired to do anything else. So I ain't allowed to do nothing else. I either got to not get the grandkids or Uber and get a job. So... You put in the work. Has he apologized? Um, Jonathan gave me like a little sorry, whack-ass apology for the Zeus Network, but he hasn't given me um, my Porter Butt apology. He hasn't given me an apology that's respectable. Unto my liking. I know my child. Who's living in my spare room? No one is living in my spare room. I have 10 spare rooms. I'm renting, I rent Airbnbs. So I have 10 spare rooms. But you're talking about my son. No, he don't live with me. He live with somebody, but not with me. And I'm a fine as my sons is. Come on now. They don't got to live with me. <laughs> Come on now. It's about 20 of y'all Section 8 housing assholes that's going to let him come live there. So, no, he just, he's he's close by. And I'm helping him with his child while he puts his business together. I bet Blue don't even think about this shit that much. No, probably he don't. Not as much as y'all do. 
Is Blue really done with Rock? I never knew that he was with her. I, like I said, I thought that was a business relationship, and that's what it is. I've been told her that she didn't understand and respect that, and y'all didn't understand and accept that and kept thinking that we could just get a man with some money and a baby. That's our fault. But all praises to God, it worked out for her. She's gonna, she's famous, and she'll eventually, you know, after she's done paying her tithes and her dues, she'll be wealthy from it. And that's just how the cookie crumbles in Hollywood, okay? That's just how it works out here. Either you in or you out. I don't know what's happened in October. I had a vision in October, and I just, I mean, I hope it works out, you know. I just pray that it works out for whatever the vision was for my grandchildren. October is Halloween. <laughs> October is Halloween, <laughs> so it's going to be trick or treat, right? <laughs> it's going to be trick or treat. The mama been right. Mama knows best. These girls did not want to listen to his own mama. Like, he mad because I'm putting y'all up on game. I'm helping y'all. And he mad at me. <laughs> she should have listened that night, I said, before she got so angry. I said, A, he was here last night. And then she went nuts on me. Like, <laughs> now you look like a nut. I said, I see a wedding in October. If you a candidate, get ready. Y'all ain't got to be putting her in here. Jay going to get to her soon enough. And I, I'm pretty sure he has prepared her. He has had 15 years to prepare her for y'all bullshit. Y'all not going to get a peep out of her. <laughs> when women got things to lose, they do not talk to losers. No, I don't have an Airbnb in my house. No, we, Mr. Sappho wouldn't let nobody in our house. I, girl, I would try, though. I try to have somebody in every room. You know me. A dollar is a dollar. Mr. Stafford don't play with strangers. He got PTSD. He didn't hurt somebody. <sighs> Think Blue truly loves Jaden. How could you not? That's the mother of his child. Dre loved the mother of his child too. Like it's just that's what it's gonna be. Don't you don't your baby daddy love you? Girl, ain't nobody giving a fuck about rock or none of that. Like, don't you see what I'm trying to help y'all with here? Come on, people. We are not dealing. That's the bottoms. Come on now. I'm describing the top to y'all. And y'all still talking about the bottom. I'm not talking about a girl running around here like, hoo, 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 I'm having your baby. No, I'm talking about a woman. I'm talking about these people are growing up now. They're 26 years old now. They're getting older. They're getting wiser. It ain't going to be you. It wasn't me. I made that some same dumbass mistake. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a baby. These niggas don't care about no baby. Carlissa, you need to block all the blogs. I've child blocked all of them. They gonna pay me if they want to talk about me from now on. Um, but I'll be doing a lot of this detailed. Um, I'll be a lot doing a lot of this detail stuff for y'all in six out and trying to give y'all some type of like answers to the bull. And I'm not gonna just use you know Rock's dumbass mistakes. Um, I'm gonna use Callie's dumbass mistakes. I'm gonna use my dumbass mistakes. I'm gonna use my husband's dumbass mistakes. I'm gonna use Dre's dumbass mistakes. I'm gonna use Jaden's dumbass mistakes. I'm gonna use everybody's mistakes just to help enhance y'all life because it's already out there and the only way for us to go from being the toxic family to the six out family is to tell y'all the truth what to do what not to do you know what i'm saying when to do it how to do it why to do it and then y'all can use us as an example and then hopefully the truth will set us free I don't 
think nobody knows about A until A didn't want nothing to do with nothing. Her mom and her dad are very wealthy people. She wanted to focus on her career. Um, and she's been in medical school all her life. Um, she was, they met in private school. So luck, shout out to private school. If you can put your kid in private school, put your kid in private school. Um, cause those people there know how to invest money. They know how to structure study habits. Like if you can get your, I don't care. Blue's only in private school for two years. If you can get them in two years at private school, it will definitely help. And I'm going to be showing y'all all of the examples throughout Los Angeles. Like, if you want your kid to be in modeling, I'm going to be helping Dre try to figure out, you know, his life after lockup. Um, the different things that he can do, the challenges that's out here, I'm going to be assisting him with that. I'm going to be assisting Callie with trying to help her find a reasonable stepdaddy um, to go with whatever she is trying to do right now and show her how to balance. Like, you ain't got to give up music for medical school. I know A has inspired you. Um, but you ain't got to give up the music to do medical school because I'll help her with the kids. And I'm going to show y'all how to grandparents, how to help y'all kids be all they can be. Just because your son get out of prison, that don't mean, oh, go on down the road, try to figure it out and be stuck somewhere you don't want to be. Like, there's so much more we all got to learn in our community. And since I have experienced it all firsthand, I'm going to share that with y'all. I done been in front of the TV screen. My kids done been in front of the TV screen. Um... So we have so much to share with y'all from the music to the TV to sports, everything in life we have done and established and conquered it on such a level. OK, they done got, I can help you get scholarships. I can teach you about SATs. It's so much. I mean, I can show you what agencies to go to. I can show you where not to go to. I can show you who to have, you know, who to waste your uh, nookie on, who not to waste your nookie on. There's so much that I, that we can help y'all with because we've been in like some of the best and worst situations that Los Angeles, California has to offer. Okay, so if any of our life or our tips or stuff that we've been through, we're going to teach y'all, we're going to show y'all. Especially just the underage people, the single moms, like you're going to get so much out of six out that it's, it's not even going to be real. Like, I'm going to tell you, don't go on this street, go on this street. You ain't going to listen. You're going to be one of them goofy broads when I sit you on my lap and try to put you up on game that's going to say, mm -mm. nah, I got that wet wet. I got that wet wet. I'm going to get the man. I'm going to make this man stay with me. He going to love me. I'm going to make him a whole bunch of money. And then I'm going to give him a baby. And then he going to. All right. So that was interesting. And we all heard what Miss Clarissa had to say. Could this be Blueface's soulmate? his one true love. So this is the person Miss Carlissa is talking about. She shared a picture on Instagram of herself at a casino. And strangely enough, Blueface also shared some video clips that he was at a casino. So I came out here with $20,000. I've been in the casino. I got $35,000 on the home school yard. I came with a 20 please. I got 35. Mm -hmm. I came to the room and counted up. You know, I think I feel that back out there. Oh, yeah. On GOD. On Allah. On Jesus Manuel. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to go for a triple double tonight. Uh, came up a little 15. Came up a little 15 piece. But the night is still young. So, see how I gamble is. I come up off the 15, right? Then I'm going to go back out there with them the 400. Oh, man. Yeah, and try to bleed for another 15. Don't want to know why. Yeah, bro, I can't tell y'all where I'm at, but I fuck with where I'm at. Bitch, I ain't got no ID or nothing. <laughs> no clears card, no nothing, no schoolyard. I just sit at the table, throw my little money out there, raise card good. By the cashing out, they don't play that shit, so I gotta have somebody else cash it out for me. But it's usually a random motherfucker just standing around just looking at me, watching me play and shit like 
watch. You feel me? I'd really, be out there bleeding. I'd put, I, I'd be at the table with five white people. I'd put 2500 down, get two face cards on blackjack, two kings, nigga, two, two teens, nigga, split them hoes. They'd be looking like, that's a for sure win. What are you doing? Bitch, bro, I'm going to win 10000 I don't want to win no goddamn 2500 all right, so I'm going to go back out there with my hot little phone in it. Okay, look, I'm going to leave a 35 piece right here in the room. I'm G-O-D. It's all there. Okay, yeah, and we're going to see what it's, what's, what it's, it's going to do, what it's going to do, baby, because you know a winner when you see one. I'm school, y'all. Drop that wing wing then it's going to get you a 1%. You hear me? But you only get one chance to dance. So make sure it's worth it and don't blow it. Until the time to blow it, baby, just, yeah. Hold that. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> I beat the Yaki on the dead homies. Y'all know the story. <laughs> I'm still here. Like, I won. I didn't break even Steven. I'm really a one percenter. I could tell this bitch a lie. She's going to believe it. I'm a dead homie. <laughs> oh, I lie. So this girl is obviously allegedly doesn't mind the attention i'm thinking she wants us to think that she's at the same casino with blueface maybe am i reaching i don't know she could possibly want us to keep guessing i don't really know so i've covered her face because i'm not sure if this is all about clout chasing let me know your thoughts Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.